Display modules is used to show text. Draw images and shapes to show necessary information. There are many types of displays available in the market today. In this video, we will focus to learn on how to use a TFT or a thin film transistor display, which is just another kind of liquid crystal display or LCD. I have here a 2.4 inch TFT display shield for Arduino Uno and Arduino Mega. And if you can wire it properly, you can use this to most development platforms. It has a resolution of 240 by 320 RGB pixels, which is fairly enough for most common usage. It has a resistive touchscreen. This is useful if you want to provide some user interface functionalities or menus to interact with the user. It has a slot for micro SD card at the back. You can use it for external storage for data lagging. You may also access the SD card for displaying images in bitmap format. For the pinouts or pin assignments, at the top side of the shield is a 2.4 TFT display and it has a small push button for resetting the Arduino board and also the TFT driver. At the bottom side, underneath are the pins which fits nicely to my Arduino Uno. These are the pins used by the micro SD and it is shared with the LCD when using the LCD in SPI mode. So the pins are SD underscore SCK or SPI S clock pin is the serial clock which is connected to Arduino Uno digital pin 13. SD underscore DO or SPI MISO pin is the SPI master input a slave output which is connected to digital pin 12. Next is the SD underscore DI or SPI MOSI pin is the SPI master output a slave input which is connected to digital pin 11. Next is the SD underscore SS or SPI chip select which is connected to Arduino digital pin 10. Next are the parallel data pins of the LCD. Notice that the LCD D0 and D1 is here. D0, then D1. And LCD D2, D3, D4, D5, D6, D7. On the other sides are the LCD control signals. This one. Which use the A0 to A4. The A5 it's written F underscore CS, but I don't know what's the use of this. This could be a backlight control, but I'm not sure. This TFT shield occupies most or all of the pins of the Arduino Uno. So others choose to use an Arduino Mega. The problem in using the Arduino Mega with the shield is that the SPI pins is not located in digital pins 13, 12, and 11. It is digital pin 50, 51, and 52. So the hobby is created libraries that can work around this limitation. That is to create a software SPI in digital pin 13, 12, and 11 or bit banging to mimic or copy the native SPI capabilities. It works but with slower refresh rates when rendering the display and more resources is used. That is using the Arduino Mega. Another problem is you will not be able to access the micro SD card because you already know SD card access use SPI. Theoretically, it will work using another software SPI. Now let me plug it fit to my Arduino Uno. And let's see the software side. To connect this to our Arduino Uno, 
just fit it nicely. Making sure that all the pins are in correct position. Then, just press. Like that. It's beautiful. By the way, I added some hot glue to make the connection intact. Let me connect it to my computer. Connecting the USB. And let's go to my desktop. There are many libraries available for TFT display, but the library of Joe Lopez works for me while having problem with other libraries. After you downloaded the libraries, we can try something from the examples. My lib the libraries and this is the one I am using. SPFD 5408. Not the copy from Adapruit. The Adapruit library is not working for me. So this one is from Joe Lopez. So let's load the graphics test. And let's load this. Okay. Uploading. Let's just wait. So, my display is working. Now, let us try something more useful. I prepared here some Arduino sketch for the tutorial. So, let's load it. It's PDF learning. Hello, world. This is an example for displaying text messages or text. Let's upload this for us to see how it works. Done uploading. So it will reset and it displays hello from Tech to Tinker 2.4 TFT display. The source code is, it starts with including the necessary libraries. And this one is for the definition of the touch screen, which is, we are not using. And here are the initializations for the LCD. And it begins the initialization of TFT. It always begins with the TFT.reset. Then, we use tft.begin 0x9341 or ILI9341 because even though this one is using SPFD5408 LCD driver, uh, I think it's similar to ILI9341 LCD driver because it's working with this. After that, we set the rotation to 2 so that the top is here because this is 0, this side, this is 0, this is 1, this is 2, and this is 3. Next, TFT fill screen black. So it basically set the background to black. Next, we set the text color to white. So, as you can see, this hello from Tech to Tinker is white. We set the text size to 1, so it's very small. And we set the cursor or the location of the text in pixel 10. This is X and this is Y. So, this is 10 and 10. And we set the text to be displayed. Next, we change the text color to red. We set the text size to 2. And we set the cursor to be displayed at 10 and 30. And we display the 2.4 TFT display. Now let's load the next example. 
its uh, graphics or some shapes in here we draw a circle with center in 120 this is the center point this is x and this is y this is the center and this is the radius and this is the color let's upload first next we fill the circle we make a circle filled with color so it's same location but with different radius in green color as you can see this one this is the green color and next we draw the triangle in location this is the first point this is the next point and this is the third and using a cyan color next sketch touch screen so here we will test the touch screen so let's load it first upload this first so it's the same we just need to use this this is for the initialization of the touch screen in here we are checking the touch points so basically this ts point gets the x and y coordinates of the touch of the touch point and it gets also the pressure so here we get the pressure so if it's inside the limits of minimum and maximum pressure it means that the certain point is touched then we get the x and y coordinates this one if the green area is touched we will set the touch uh, variable to one if the touch point is in the red color or red area we set the touch variable to two then here if the touch variable is one we can turn on an led here we display where the location so if we touch the green one led on it will print number one as you can see here it prints one using the tft that print and we set the touch variable again to zero delay for some time this is for debouncing we check the touch variable again if it's two it means that the led op is being pressed then we print zero let's touch it like that as you can see next let's load the port example micro sd so this is loading a file from micro sd card so it's the same but it's just using sd libraries so these are preloaded so you don't need to download this one and let's upload this where is the code uh, this one so it writes this one to the micro sd then it will read the whole test that text so as you can see this there are many texts i set it very small so let's try if we can put it bigger text size to two let's upload it again and let's see if we can see the results no there's so much i cannot show you because it's more than already because 
anyway, it's working. Next, let's upload. This is for. Let's upload this one. This is the last example. So this loads uh, different bitmaps or BMP files to the LCD. So it basically draw different BMPs. Yeah. This one is first YouTube. Next is my is the logo of Tech to Tinker. Next is the subscribe. Next is another logo of Tech to Tinker. And yes, like, comment, share and subscribe. So that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please give me thumbs up and share this to your friends. It will motivate me to create more videos like this. If you happen to have some questions or suggestions, be sure to write it in the comment section and I will be happy to answer it. You may also visit my blogs of this video at techtotinker.blogspot.com And if you are not yet subscribed to this channel, Subscribe now. Thank you and have a blessed days ahead. See you in the next video. Bye.